So when you first came here, th this it's hard to believe, but this was a dull and boring house. Yeah, it sure was, but it had all the ingredients that I really wanted. I wanted to be able to open the backyard out to have this indoor-outdoor living room mm. because I really think that that's important, well, considering the lounge room is so small anyway. Mm. But in this climate on the Gold Coast, that indoor-outdoor thing is so appropriate. Oh, absolutely. That is very special. Now, obviously, a very profound Balinese influence. Mm -hmm. I should have been born there, I think, Don. So you've been there a number of times? Been to Bali 17 times. I'm the Bali queen. Oh. The thing I can't believe, sitting here looking at all this, the whole house, everything else, this was actually done very much on a budget. Mm, totally. We, we, well, I had all the little knickknacks. I've been lugging them home in my hand luggage for trip after trip after trip. Um, everything else we've just done as best we could on a cheap scale. We sourced all our plants cheaply and painted everything ourselves and just called in tradesmen when we needed them. Now, I know you extended an extra room for your mum out mm -hmm. beside there, mm. but apart from the room, what would you have spent doing up all the existing rooms of the house, putting in this wonderful indoor-outdoor pergola area with the cover on it, and then the whole landscaping, all up, the whole place, what would it cost you? Probably around 30000 which sounds a lot, but considering, no. I mean, we bought the house fairly cheaply. That's putting cheaply. all this decking in the whole lot? Yeah. And for the money you spent, you also put in the plunge pool? Mm-hmm. Gee, that is very, very good decking, roofing, plunge pool, decorations. I mean, it's amazing. Lots of fun plants, be it bromeliads or frangipanis or whatever. There's lots of colourful bits and pieces. Mm. Well, I've got lots of my ideas from your show. Okay. And the foliage that they have in Bali, I find just... Mm. That makes life so much easier instead of a flower here mm. and a camellia in your snip. I mean, it suits the Gold Coast climate mm. and it's, it means you've got colour in your garden all year round mm. if you don't go the flowering way. Yeah. Now, John, what do you think of, obviously Marilyn has a, something of an obsession with this sort of garden design. What do you think? Mm. I think over the last 20 years she's absolutely excelled. <laughs> Gone from one to the next and, uh, and every place we've been to has been an improvement on the one before. Now tell the truth, you go, not more Marilyn, unbelievable, not more, too much tits. Is that not true? Don, there's two sides to everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of the opposite of that, do you have romantic nights out here? Well, I work most nights, so John May. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I thought very I answered this previously. Private, it's a very private backyard. Yeah. Amazingly, considering the number of houses, I mean, we've got one, two, three, four houses bordering onto our backyard. Mm. On a nice, balmy summer's night, it's not a bad place to be. Well, look, I think it's incredibly courageous and I think it really does feel like you're on holidays. It is like being in, in, in some exotic paradise or whatever. I think it's mm. absolutely fabulous. We're really happy with our little world here. We're, mm. It's like our own private little um, villa that we can come home to every day instead of waiting those two precious weeks a year when mm. we'd get on the flight and head over there and then count the hours because it's nearly all over and now we don't have to do that anymore.